Lizzie, are you aware that I came visiting you yesterday, but you didn't return like I expected? Who did you come to visit? Because it is definitely not me. Are you serious that no one told you I came visiting? I stayed here for so many hours, but you didn't show up. No one told me anything. Who did you see when you came around? I saw Tony. He was the only one at home. He told me to wait that you would soon return. I left here at night, but you never returned. Tony didn't tell me anything. Why didn't you call me now? I would have rushed home to attend to you. You know I don't joke with you. I had a surprise for you. I brought so many goodies. It was a surprise visit. Unfortunately, you were not home. So where are the things you brought for me? Don't tell me you took them back. Of course I did. How could you go to work from morning and return at midnight? Who does that? You know it's been a long time that company was shut down. We have to work really hard to make sure all our clients return back to us. You don't have to work so hard, Lizzie. After all, that is why you have workers. Your job is to make sure everything is legit and all the documents are signed by you alone. I know. I just want to learn how to run the company. It will be a shame that I know nothing about the business. Okay, don't worry. I brought many other goodies. They are in my car. Come and help me bring them in. Oh, I can't wait to see what you brought for me. My instincts were right when I was told you are a very smart person. I mean, I only directed you here once and here you are without stress. Will you ever get tired of complimenting me and praising me? Will you ever get tired of surprising me? You keep drawing me closer to you with your beauty and smartness. Oh, thank you, baby. Your house is really beautiful, Shara. I wasn't expecting anything less from you. Well, I might look rich, but I am definitely not rich. I don't just say you're rich. I don't care about your status. I just like your personality. You are cool. Thank you, dear. So what can I offer you? I have so many drinks here, both alcohol and wine, including some packs of juice. Please don't bother. I'm not thirsty for anything. Don't worry. I'll let you know when I'm tasty or in need of anything. I don't spend that time comes fast because I don't like seeing my visitor sitting without any refreshments. Sincerely speaking, I don't want to take anything. Why? Because you feel I will drug your drink? Prevention is better than kill. It is better for me to be careful. The world is wicked. I don't really blame you for thinking that way. I mean the world is polluted. We all have to be careful. Thanks for understanding. We are welcome. Oh, my love, I have been waiting like tomorrow will come to an end. What took you so long to arrive? I'm not here for any of your sweet talk. I'm here for something more disturbing and important. What is it, baby? You just got here. Why not have a seat first? I am aware that you have been coming to my friend to help you talk to me. Is that right? Baby, I am sorry if that is why you are hungry. I was just frustrated because you haven't been giving me your time recently. I felt like I did something wrong. So you think the best person you can run to is my friend Abby? That is the only person I know can talk to you. Is that why you are angry with me? Don't worry, I won't talk to her about it again. I don't care anymore. I'm here to tell you that I am done with this relationship. I am no longer interested in being with you. My love, I know you are joking. Please don't give me heart attack. The one you have been doing these past few days is enough. Do I look like I am joking to you? I am damn serious, Andy. I am in love with someone else. I am no longer interested to be with you. Please understand. Anita, please don't do this to me. You know how much I love you. I want to marry you. Please don't do this to me. Please try and understand. I am no longer interested. Now my mornings ain't heavy Cause I'm finally getting real sleepy I love watching all the cars Good afternoon, Aloy. I haven't seen you since we came back from lunch break. It seems you were busy. Yes, I was busy. How are you doing? You have been working really hard these days. I am so impressed. Thank you, Aloy. Those words mean a lot to me. You have no idea how much energy I have put into making sure I am perfect in this business. Truly speaking, you are so smart. I have always known you are smart. Just keep up with the good work. I am not sure if I should be feeling happy with what you just said, but thank you for the compliment. Of course, you are allowed to be happy. You are doing a great job. In the midst of working, please don't forget to have some rest. I won't. I have a good coach. Gradually, I am becoming perfect with the job. You wouldn't have to bother yourself about my performance anymore. No, I won't. Thank you for always being here for me. How about you take me properly by having lunch with me? But I just came back from having lunch about an hour ago. This one will be just the both of us. That way you can thank me better. How about that? Just lunch, right? Yes, just lunch. Alright, I will meet you outside. Let me try and tidy up the table because I will close for the day after lunch. Okay. I 
I didn't know their food can be so nice. Indeed, it is wrong to judge by the first look. And you were busy shouting you don't want it. You have to also thank me for making you choose that delicacy. <laughs> the color was somehow. I didn't know it to be so delicious. Anyway, thank you for choosing it for me. You are welcome. How are you feeling now? I feel so tired and lazy at the same time. I mean, I have overfed myself. I don't think I will be able to continue working when I get to the office. You cleared your table, right? Yes, I did. Then you have nothing to worry about. You can go home as soon as we get to the company. You can do all the job. Thank you so much for always being there for me, Aloy. You make it very easy for me. This is like the millionth time you are thanking me for that particular reason. I told you I will always be there for you. I have so many other reasons to thank you, but I will keep those reasons to myself. So I'm not allowed to hear them. So your head doesn't swell bigger than this. So just know I am grateful that you are by my side. You are welcome. Just feel free to tell me anything that bothers you. I will never be too tired of helping you out. I know, and you have proven it beyond reasonable doubt. I am glad my husband employed you as our general manager. Your late husband? I am still not comfortable referring to him like that. Don't worry, you will soon get used to it. Oh, Anita, you are in the house. Andy, what are you doing in my house? Didn't I tell you to stay away from me? My love, please calm down. I am not here to see you. I want to see your friend Charity. You want to see Charity for what? You know this is the main reason I want to leave this relationship. I cannot date a baby in form of a man. Anita, you have broken my heart into pieces. Allow me to see Charity, please. Maybe she can help me convince you to be with me. Just imagine your sense of reasoning. You are here in my house to see Charity, just so she can help you talk to me. Do you want me to kneel down for you? I will do anything for you, Anita. Please don't leave me. We have gone a long way. I've told you my mind already. I cannot marry someone like you. But why not? What is wrong with me? Why can't you marry me? I keep asking if you marry me today. How do you intend to take care of me and my needs? But I have told you to give me a little more time. I will sort it out. Yes, I know I don't have money now, but I will definitely have money. <laughs> I don't suffer. Okay, just leave my house, I beg. I truly deserve better. You don't deserve me at all. It's better than I ever thought it could be. Andy, are you okay? I rushed down here the moment I saw your text message. What's wrong with you? Anita has broken my heart into pieces. Please help me, Charity. You are the only person I can run to. What has she done? Is she still putting up with her attitude of hers? Please tell her it's better she continues with the attitude than for her to leave me, please. What are you saying? Who is leaving who? Anita wants to leave me. She came to my house this morning and demanded a breakup. Why? Did she tell you the reason why she needs a breakup? She says she found someone else that she's in love with another. Please help me talk to her. I am losing my mind. Ah, wow. I don't know why genuine people keep loving the wrong people. It is obvious that Anita doesn't need a relationship anymore. It is hard to accept the fact that she doesn't need me anymore. I still need her. Please talk to her for me. Let her know how much I love her. Why not leave her alone for your own peace of mind? What of if she's truly in love with another person? It's charity. Don't let her go to someone else. Talk to her for me. It's okay. Put yourself together. I'll talk to her for you. Aloy, it is such a surprise to see you. I mean, today is Saturday and we don't usually go to work on Saturdays. Yes, you are right. That is the main reason why I'm here. We don't have to go to the company today. Exactly. I am so tired from working all through the week. I need a very long rest. You know I haven't worked in years. I totally understand how hard it will be for you. You still need some time to adjust. Exactly. I wish Michael allowed me to work when I begged him to. But he refused. He wanted me to stay at home and spend his money. But that is the dream of almost all the Nigerian ladies. They don't want to work. They just want to stay at home and enjoy their man's money. Yes, you are right. But that is a different thing for me. I really wanted to work, but he didn't let me. I'm glad you now have the freedom to work. So you haven't still told me what you're doing here. Do I have to sign any documents? Not at all. I have somewhere I want to take you to. Somewhere special. Please go in and get ready. Somewhere special like where? Just follow me and you'll find out. You are spoiling me too much these days. I will be right back. Welcome, ma. Tony, what are you doing here? I thought you went to your boys' quarters. Yes, ma. I was in my boys' quarters when I heard you and Aloy leaving the compound to go knows where. That doesn't mean you should come into my house and stay. I see if you're stalking me. But ma, just look at the time you are coming back. This is almost midnight. Have you forgotten you were once a married woman? And what business of yours is it? Am I going out with your leg? Why can't you focus on what concerns you, Tony? 
Did you take alcohol? Lisa, you took alcohol. How long I gave you alcohol to take? It was just a little. Besides, I am not answerable to you. I only went out to have fun and I did have fun. Please, ma, I am begging you. You have to be very careful with the kind of fun you have with Aloy. You are some people's role model in this society because of your late husband's position. Aloy has always been there for me. He's trying his best to put a smile on my face. Am I not trying my best to put a smile on your face? Yet you don't appreciate my efforts. Is that jealousy I am perceiving? It is not fair. The time you are returning from having fun is abominable, concerning the fact that your husband just died. Do I look like I care? Shut my door on your way out. So those are all the things he told you to tell me, Abby. It is such a pity. He didn't tell me the words to say. He only begged me to talk to you on his behalf. Oyana, start doing the job you were sent to do and make sure you give in your best shot. This is not funny, Anita. Where do you bury your conscience? Why are you bent on hurting him that way? Is it because of money? How many times do I have to say it? Andy will not be able to take care of me. Everything is not all about money, Anita. You know Andy really loves you and that's why you are doing all this nonsense. What nonsense are you talking about, my dear? It is because I found someone better. It is because I am no longer in love with him. Because you had the other man wants to get married and travel out with the woman he marries. Yes now, that is a good reason for me to leave Andy. What exactly can he offer me? Oh, I just hope you don't regret this decision of yours. It is hard to find a man like Andy who have won, yet you don't know how to be content with him alone. My dear, I don't come this life to suffer. Suffering is not my middle name. I don't need Andy anymore. What makes you think you will suffer? Andy is working, of course. He will be able to take care of you. You shouldn't even be advising about relationship because last time I checked, you have been single for years. No vex.